This is going to be a three part, well, no, four, five. This is going to be a lot of part videos. We're going to look at MOC, a, I got to be careful of my verbiage here because I don't want to do any copyright infringement. Use little tiny blocks to build something really big. It's not, I can't even say what it's not. I'm going to go have an ego. Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Different video today, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, even though I'm not going to have the fun. So really quick, uh, this is actually from a distributor called LES DIY. They did send it to me for free, and they sent me two things. One is MOC, which is a type of uh, toy building block. You can see right here, we have a 2,200 piece windmill we're going to put together from the European century. This is one of their most popular pieces and they have tons of cool stuff to choose from and the neat thing is it's a lot cheaper than the price of an Ego. See what I did there? They also sent me this lighting pack so I don't know if the lighting goes in there or if they just sent this so I can light up my turlet. 2,200 pieces. My kids love this kind of stuff. We have countless stuff. You've probably seen it in a room tour of the kids rooms right up here and they have a lot more time than I do so Mrs. X and the little X's are gonna do a time-lapse build of this, which will be the next part of the video here, and then we'll come back and talk about it when it's done.
Okay, welcome back. We are done. And that's right, Mrs. X and number two did most of the building. And when I say most, I would say all of it. Number three did a little bit, right? Yes. So we are done. It took, what, a week or so off and on? Five days, yeah. Five days. How many hours would you say you put into this? An hour a bag, and there was a seven. Okay, so about seven, eight hours to put it maybe, together with maybe. distractions. Yeah. So with that also, uh, let's talk about it. So these building blocks are by LES DIY, do it yourself. Uh, they have a very well-known competitor out there, which we can't say the name, but you had some egos this morning, right? See what I did there? I'm very clever. Um, so let's kind of compare and evaluate that because we have a lot of egos in our house. So first of all, how would you say, you have some instructions in your lap there, yep. right? How yep. are the instructions on a scale of one through five? Five being extremely easy to figure out, one being very difficult. What do you think? Four? Four? Yeah, I agree. Okay, four. So very good instructions. Yep. All right, and with that, let's talk about were there any missing pieces? That seems like a notorious thing with building blocks. Um, I don't think there was. Was You're... there? By the way, they are sitting in the same chair if you can't figure that out. <laughs> Okay, um, what about ease of putting things together, one through five? I would say the ease of putting it on was probably a four, but sometimes a lot of the stuff fell off if you had to, like... So it didn't stay very well. Correct. Okay, so when you moved it from upstairs to downstairs, did anything fall apart? Nope. Okay. Nope. So uh, it was 2,200 plus pieces, which seems like a lot. I mean, every time I get a building block piece and you put it together, it's always smaller than the box looks. Correct. So I think that's definitely the case here. So if, if we had to say this was a scale, I would say this is probably like 1 20th, 1 30th, something Possibly, in that range. Yeah. But this is a Dutch windmill. So this is one of their most popular pieces. It retails for around $70. You can actually check out the link in the description below. But don't do that yet because we haven't seen the best part. And when I say we, I mean me and you guys. They've seen the best part. Do you remember it had a lighting kit? at the beginning. The lighting kit is specific for this and it's not just lighting. Um, it, I haven't seen it yet. It's, it's just lighting. It's battery operated and she said it it's is... just lighting. Oh, it's just lighting. It's just okay. lighting. Okay. Correct. So this does... No. Right, it's, okay. I you thought maybe... The, nope. You can use your hand to spin it. Okay. So it does spin. It does. I was hoping that it would spin on, on its own. Oh, no. Now I'm disappointed. All right. So uh, let's do this. This is... That's actually the front, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Turn it on. She needs to take the top of the roof off. Oh, you need, oh my goodness. Yeah. Tornado just came through. Oh, don't break the... Oh, my... Oh, there's a battery pack in there. Okay. Whoa. Or you can even put it on USB if you want to light it up USB. Okay, so you can plug it in or use the battery pack. Yep, and it takes three uh -oh. triple A's. Okay. Yep. So three triple A batteries. So yep. it looks like all the plants light up. And then the tree... Yeah, that's a tree is a plant. Oh, and then the house light. Oh, and then the house light. Yeah, right there. That is pretty cool. That's pretty that bright, is, too. It is bright. I know. And then it has some, like, these are, like, focused onto the house. So oh, those are spotlights. Yeah. Oh, they're actually spotlights. Yeah. That is pretty cool. You can't really see it here. Here's a close-up picture of the, the spotlights right here. All right, so I do know a lot of the competitors, especially the one we usually buy, they do have light-up features, but I, I don't think there our... There are extra kits you have to buy. There are extra kits you have to buy. Where this... Okay. Well, I think this might have been, I don't know if this was extra or not. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't actually pay for this. They sent it to me. They said to give the opinion. I told Mrs. X and um, uh, number two just to be brutally honest as far as assembly. So, so I think it's definitely a good choice. Now, they have a ton of cool stuff. They actually asked me, what would you like out, off of our website? And, of course, I picked like a $1,000 item. And they said, why don't we start with this first? So I appreciate it. But this is pretty cool to go with a lot of the buildings we have. And I think this is a good alternative. And like I said, it's usually a little bit cheaper. The light-up effect, I think, is what puts this up. Oh, for sure. You know, gives it an edge maybe over that competitor, especially with the price point. Yep. So, again, check out their website, LES DIY. The link is in the description below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't know if you click on it. I don't get a kickback. I don't get paid. But uh, I do like this a lot. So big shout out to LES DIY. Big shout out to Mrs. X and number two. Good job. Do you have anything you want to tell the world? Nothing? <laughs> There's like eight people that are going to see this. I know. She's speechless. For once. I know. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, 
we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Different kind of video. Please at least just check out LES DIY. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think you just say the letters. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate them. And I'll talk to you soon. And you'll actually see Mrs. X in quite a few videos coming up. Didn't know that, did you? Sure did it.